I haven't gotten any phone calls, you know, from my sons or Maryland, you know. Now, I did send uh, three to 4,000 emails yesterday, and I'm sure I'll send some more today. Now, this gender-neutral term known as the spouse, yeah, I'm still married. I never got a dissolution of marriage. Pooh. You, as a court, thought that it was not a requirement of the law for me uh -huh, to receive an actual dissolution of marriage. And it, it looks like uh, the term spouse, yeah. I'm still married, Judge Roar. Yeah. Throughout the Domestic Violence Protection Act, this Domestic Violence Protection Act that's being used to try me for this criminal complaint, yes. I, Brett Roberts, Deputy Prosecuting Attorney for Jefferson County, yeah. Cyber stalking and a violation of a no contact order, yeah. Now, um, I've never sent any emails with the intent to harass, intimidate, torment, or embarrass. Yeah. Most all the emails that I have sent have included what's known as ri.pdf. Now, um, the language is couched with the he, she, his, her pronouns. Right, right, right. And uh, this concept of gender neutral, it's kind of like, which gender sends flowers and which gender receives the flowers? Oh. Now, the stalking that you say that I'm doing? Yes, I did email the police departments. Did they get an email? Well, let's look at each and every email address that I've emailed for the last mm -hmm, three years where I documented that the petitioner didn't sign it. Oh. I was not given any notice or opportunity to be heard. Mm -hmm. And then there's forgeries, there's misrepresentation, and there's an exploitation of the Domestic Violence Protection Act. Now, you're refusing to take me off the docket, so today we're going to congratulate you. Mm -hmm. Let's send some flowers, okay? Judge Landis, mm -hmm. you're a female, that's your gender. Now, I happen to have no money, but if I was to send flowers to the judge that's going to listen to the cell hearing, or is it the new elected district uh, court judge is going to hear the hearing? Well, why don't I send you flowers, okay? <laughs> They'll look so nice on your desk in the judge's chambers. <laughs> now, it's supposed to be gender neutral, this whole concept of receiving and giving. Yes, yes, yes. But this assault or infliction of fear, imminent physical harm, bodily injury or assault, yeah, uh, that never happened. Ouch. I never actually hurt my wife. I went for a walk with her where she said that, ouch, that hurts me when I grabbed her hand. <laughs> but there's never been any physical violence in my actual family, Pope. Now, a petitioner who files a complaint for relief, yes, mm -hmm such as a, a protection order in 2011, uh -huh. must allege that domestic violence occurred and provide an affidavit that describes what happened. Mm -hmm. The only police report that you've actually received that um, had any validity was what happened on Guam. Yeah. Now, Heidi traveling to Washington State, 13,000 miles away from that territory, yes, I don't think he had any jurisdiction. Now, there was no affidavit filed that described what happened in Swim, Washington on December 31st of 2015. <laughs> Since I wasn't in that city, yes. I've never read exactly what did happen. Poop, poop. Then there's the criminal complaint. Yes. Mm -hmm. We did read the response from the state that you have an email right now. Well, where's the affidavit of what actually happened? as it relates to the June 16th, 2017 incident that happened in Jefferson County. See, the police never investigated. So, oh, the evidence required or the credibility of such evidence exists. I just wanted to know, what did the petitioner swear mm -hmm, to the affidavit? Because I provided this whole citizen criminal complaint form. Ouch. Now, I just want to know, okay, um, what evidence is there that gives any credibility to the two-count criminal complaint? I know Brett Roberts would say he sent uh, emails to the Port Townsend School District. 
Yes. To the Port Townsend Police Department? Yes. <laughs> to the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office? Poach. Sheriff Stankel? <clears throat> In fact, I can document that you have intentionally obstructed my rights as an American citizen for three years. <laughs> now, for some reason, the sheriffs in Jefferson County, they want me in a mental institution <laughs> where I thought, yes, I had the right to sue them for having me on the docket. <laughs> now, wouldn't it be nice to get some flowers today? And if I had some money, I'd be down there at the florist yes, buying flowers for every sheriff in Jefferson County. Coach, something to thank you you for being in law enforcement and protecting the rights of American citizens, not just uh, the females, right, but the males too. <laughs> now, as a man, would it seem somewhat effeminate for me to send you flowers today? <clears throat> because I'm thinking, mm -hmm, if I had some money in my pocket, <clears throat> I'd be sending flowers to every fucking sheriff. <laughs>